Hi everyone, I'm Peter and you're watching Witness My Meaning. So yeah, this is my first video. Uh, I can't really believe I'm doing this, but yeah, it's uh, this this community is giving me so much uh, during uh, hard times and and good times. So I just want to give back to you guys. So uh, okay, so I thought we would uh, start up with something rather quick, but that could generate uh, an effective. Uh, results. So I was listening to uh, the boys over at Trapped uh, Under Plastic and uh, they were talking about cork towers so as bases like uh, how tall could you get uh, with the mini B uh, without it looking ridiculous and of course I had to uh, challenge that somewhat so I made this guy uh, he has um, I made sure that he had stairs uh, going around the top so they ma it made kind of sense for him to be there and um, I switched out his axe to a blood leather sword. I uh, cut apart a, a um, cape that I had for another mo uh, model. And I sculpted some fur over his uh, um, cape with some green stuff. And uh, yeah, and then it was just, you know, regular black primer and white ink. And this is this was the starting point. So now for the fun stuff. So uh, what I did was I started with golden high flow acrylics just to set the right angle of the light sources that I wanted. Um, so I started out with green from below. Uh, then I went in with red from the sword um, that I will consider a flaming sword that will be the main oversell effect of the piece. And then I ended up with blue for a cold uh, dark moonlight. There was time for the oil wash. This is uh, an easy way to set dark and deep shadows, but it also lays down that foundation that we need when we work on with oils over the top. Uh, so after the uh, wash uh, has been uh, carefully placed uh, with the uh, um, corresponding color uh, that I did with the airbrush, then I just take it away with Q-tips, making sure to uh, change the Q-tips between the colors. With oils, I establish easy gradients since they are, they are always wet on wet. The bright colors that you see is my homemade fluorescent oils, made with linseed oil, white spirit and green stuff world fluorescent pigments. Something that I stole from James Wapple. The man is a freaking legend. They had however been sitting on my shelf for a little bit too long and when I tried to get them working again I might have overused the white spirit a little bit. You know, how, however, that pop, it's insane. Uh, going over it with a dry brush for the blending them together once I've put the different colors next to each other.
After the oils, it was time for waiting. But days tend to, tends to go fast when you have a family plus regular work. About two days later, uh, the oils had dried and I could go back in with acrylics. There is no need for varnishing in between steps. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. The blues had lost a little depth um, and color, so I went in with some glazes. Then I started picking up the highlights with Chimera paints, so we don't lose that pop. Uh, this step was very fidgeting, you know, back and forth, just seeing what worked and what didn't. Only one rule, uh, respect the source of light and stay within the respective colors. Don't cross those boundaries. Another YouTuber would say, it's time for the grand reveal. Final result, the pop of the fluorescent oils are crazy and I'm really happy with that, how it turned out. Of course I had to wait a couple of days for it to dry between steps, but the total process of actual work, I'll say approximately two hours. If you only have acrylics and don't want to look into oils just yet, it's just as easy to do with only acrylics like I did with this Marvel Protocol miniature for a commission. Just remember that if you want a bright light, there has to be dark deep shadows or otherwise it will feel very unnatural. Uh, this was my first video, I really hope you liked it. Uh, now I am one of those other guys that would really appreciate it if you would uh, press one of those pesky buttons somewhere around here. Um, I have loads of ideas coming in for the channel, so I really hope you'll be back. And if you like to support my work even more, I do have a Teespring um, and I'll have a Patreon coming up. So where you could even get one of uh, an STL for my wonderful little um, mascot Wiley. If you want to paint him, I'll, I'm really looking forward to seeing those out in the wild. Uh, besides that, of course, there's a Discord channel where you can ask me any kind of questions or just come and hang out with me and some other hobby friends. So, yeah, that's it for this time. Um, yeah, thank you guys uh, and big mini love. Bye, guys. Uh, it's because it's like you uh, as you found.